Welcome to the first lecture of the F# -sharp and Functional Programming uh, course. Um, my name is Tomasz Petrzyczek. I've been active in the F# -sharp community for a while. Um, I've been blogging about F# -sharp, um, and more recently, I also contributed to some of the F# -sharp data science libraries like Deedle, um, and that's actually one of the topics that we'll cover in the later lecture of the course. Um, I'm also co-author of two Manning books. There's the Real World Functional Programming book, which is sort of F-sharp introduction for people from, coming from the object-oriented background. Um, and we're working on F-sharp Deep Dives, which is um, a, case, a, a collection of case studies about F-sharp. And I've been working uh, recently for, for Blue Mountain Capital, working on, on data science libraries, some of which we'll, we'll cover, and also for Microsoft Research. And I'm a PhD student at University of Cambridge working on programming language research. So before we, before we dive deep into F Sharp, let me just say a few things about the F Sharp Software Foundation. Um, this is an in initiative that we started with a couple of other contributors to F-Sharp. And um, F-Sharp uh, comes, it's available in, in Visual Studio. Um, <coughs> so there's this version of F-Sharp that comes from Microsoft, but there's other companies contributing to F-Sharp, um, either to the open source ecosystem around F-Sharp, like Xamarin, who's building uh, mobile tooling for F-Sharp um, to make it possible to write F-Sharp F -sharp code that runs on Android and iPhone. Um, but there's, there's other contributors like Blue Mountain Capital, um, and they are building data science tools, and they work with the community uh, to, make the, to make the language and the tooling better. And that's all sort of... Uh, coordinated through the f -sharp Software Foundation. So um, if you go to the f -sharp website, um, it has a lot of useful information, ranging from links to different projects if you want to start using f -sharp in some specific area, uh, to how to get started with f -sharp on different operating systems. Um, and one thing we'll, we'll look at later on is the testimonials, which is uh, a collection of quotes from people who have been using F# -sharp for one thing or another, and that's also a good place to learn about um, how people use F# -sharp, um, what kind of software is written using F# -sharp and so on. So I'll start with, uh, I guess in this in this uh, lecture we're looking at how to use F# -sharp in in finance and. Very often, the, the thing that you will be doing in finance is creating analytical components. So that's the kind of um, core computations of your, of your uh, system or um, something like in, in trading systems. That's the component that actually deals with the trades. Um, you can use f -sharp for other things like creating user interfaces and there's, there's a lot of interesting libraries for doing that as well, but in this course we are, we are mainly focusing on the analytical components, things like calculations, uh, data analysis, data processing, data modeling, and so on. And this is also an area where f -sharp works really well. Uh, there's a quote from the ThoughtWorks Technology Raider. And ThoughtWorks is this consulting company that does uh, they do mainly mainly Java, so they're not that much into um, F# -sharp and C# -sharp, but they have this nice quote where they say that F# -sharp is excellent at concisely expressing business and domain logic, and uh, that's really that's really where you can get uh, large benefits from using F# -sharp. and um, in in the last lecture we'll we'll also look at how you can use F# -sharp to do um, tooling around your systems, which is um, another area where it's actually really interesting. Um, and the, the nice thing about tooling is that you can actually use it without uh, 
you can use it really easily uh, without sort of introducing F# -sharp to the core of your system. But um, most of the most of the talk or most of the lectures is going to cover how to use F# -sharp to actually implement some core analytical components. So looking at the testimonials, there's a there's a couple of quotes from finance or insurance companies, and uh, what they say uh, basically is that it's really easy to implement the, the core computation in F Sharp. Uh, the first one is from a company that's building valuation models. And um, one thing they get there is the ability to really quickly prototype new models, new computations, see how that works. Um, the second one, um, there's, there's some interesting numbers there. Um, and they rewrote um, the, the core calculation engine from, I think, C++ to F sharp. And it got shorter and faster. Um, the, the reason why the, the code, uh, why, the, why the engine actually gets faster isn't, um, is, is partly because F sharp is efficient and it's compiled. Um, but it's also because you can express more complicated algorithms. Um, so you can actually write more clever logic in F# -sharp than you would write otherwise. Um, and uh, the, the last one is from uh, a company doing data analysis. And again, they're using F# -sharp to analyze big data sets and do some algorithmic processing on the results. So that's the kind of areas that we'll be covering. Um, if you look at uh, the problem from business perspective, there's, there's mainly four sort of keywords that you, uh, four main things that you get, uh, or four main problems that you can solve by using F Sharp. And that's time to market, efficiency, complexity, and correctness. So I think the time to market, that's something you'll see in this lecture as well, because you can easily prototype things, test how your code works, and then transition to running things as a .NET code that's deployed to your systems. Um, efficiency, so F# -sharp is compiled to native code using the, the JIT compilation. It's easy to parallelize thanks to the immutability, and that makes it really easy to do, uh, to do basic parallelization. And we'll see some of that in the second lecture. Uh, the third point is when you want to write some new calculations that implement more advanced algorithms, you have to sort of deal with increased complexity. And there, F# -sharp gives you more flexible language where you can um, basically better express what you're actually trying to do. Um, it supports type inference. So you can write fairly complex code with small number of lines. And um, it also, uh, when, you're, when you're writing analytical components, another key thing is that you want your code to be correct. And there, um, for example, when you, when you do uh, some, when you write some financial model as an as a equation on a paper, you want to be able to directly translate that to your code. And because F# -sharp and functional languages are closer to the mathematics, um, you can very directly do that, and um, we'll see th we'll see this in lecture three as well. Um, so the the language is inspired by a couple of directions in the industry. Uh, it's functional first, which means that most of the code or the, the basic default way of writing code is functional. Uh, and that comes from the OCaml language. But equally, F# -sharp supports object-oriented programming. And uh, some people even say that F# -sharp has better object-oriented programming features than C#. -sharp. Um, and we'll, we'll see how to write objects later on. Um, but this is really important for uh, packaging your F# -sharp code. So if you're writing analytical component, you can wrap it in nice objects that will look like ordinary C# -sharp classes and 
uh, it will be easy to use from the rest of your system. A uh, lot, lot of the feel of the language is inspired by Python, where f -sharp tries to be really simple. Um, it's white space sensitive as well. Um, and um, yeah, the, the, the aim is to have a code that's, that's readable and uh, simple to understand. But at the same time, because it's, it runs on the .NET or, or Mono platforms, it gets all the libraries and all the well-testedness of the platform. So that's sort of key contributions to the design of, of F Sharp. Um, so we'll start by looking at a couple of uh, examples. Um, I'll go through a few simple F Sharp snippets um, in uh, F Sharp Interactive so you can see how to type things and um, when you download the source code, there's also a couple of examples where you can where you can fill in uh, things, solve some solve some questions, and work on additional tasks. So I'll introduce that later on. 